in this video you will learn cosine similarity so what is cosine similarity and how it works and how to communicate how to compute cosine similarity of documents cosine similarity is a metric that we use to measure how similar the documents are irrespective of their size in cosine similarity which we will treat data object as a vector in my previous videos in which we discussed nominal attributes numerical attributes ordinal attributes binary attributes and mixed attributes we treated data object as a attribute but in cosine similarity we will treat data object as a vector so how to compute cosine similarity we have formula cos x and y is equal to x dot y divided by x multiply y so for example we have uh, two documents x document one is x and we have value three two zero five and we have document two called y one zero 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 so we have to find how similar these two documents are so we will use this formula at the end we will see how we can find cosine dissimilarity cosine dissimilarity let's start example we have to find x dot y that means 3 multiply 1 plus 2 multiply 0 plus let me clear this okay 0 multiply 0 plus 5 multiply 0 so this will be 0 0 0 so answer will be 3 x dot y is equal to 3 now we have to find out length of x that means we have to take square of each values of x and then add it and then square root so square of each value and then plus plus square of 0 plus square of 5 so uh, the answer will be 6.16 now we have to find out length of y same process we will do one square plus zero square plus zero square plus zero square this all these values zero and just one square root of one will be one so now we have to put these values in this formula i'm just putting directly i'm not writing formula um, x dot y is equal to three divided by length of x is 6.16 multiply length of y length of y is 1 the answer will be 0 0.49 okay so we find out cosine similarity so how we will find cosine dissimilarity for cosine dissimilarity we have formula 1 minus cosine similarity cosine similarity that means 1 minus this cos x and y so now we find out cosine similarity similarity the answer was 0 0.41 
1 minus 0 0.49 not 1 sorry the answer will be 0 0.51 the important thing just remember that the cosine similarity between two vectors we measured in theta if theta is equal to 0 then both vectors are similar similar if theta is equal to 90 degree then both vectors will be dissimilar in exam it will be given you have to find out the cosine similarity or cosine dissimilarity between the two documents so let's see another example for example, we have two documents D1 5030200200 and D2 3020110101. So we have to find out the similarity between documents 1 and document 2. So we have formula cos D1 and D2 is equal to d1 dot d2 divided by length of d1 multiply length of d2 okay so we have to find out d1 dot d2 d1 dot d2 now we have to multiply each values with other 5 multiply 3 plus 0 multiply 0 plus 3 multiply 2 plus 0 multiply 0 plus 2 multiply 1 plus 0 multiply 1 plus 0 multiply by 0 plus 2 multiply 1 plus 0 multiply by 0 plus 0 multiply by 1 okay so this will be 0 0 0 0 0 and 0 so the answer will be 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 15 is equal to 25 so now we have to find out length of d1 So we have to take squares and then add and then square root for each values. 5 square plus 0 square plus 3 square plus 0 square plus 2 square plus 0 square plus 0 square plus 2 square plus 0 square plus 0 square so the answer will be 6.481 so now we have to find length of d2 same thing we will do with d2 3 square plus 0 square plus 2 square plus 0 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square so 
the answer will be 4.12 so now we have to put these values in this formula cos of t1 dot and t2 is equal to d1 dot d2 we find out d1 dot d2 is equal to 25 divided by length of d1 6.481 multiply length of d2 4.12 the answer will be 0 0.94 okay so that was the example so if in exam it is given you have to find out similarity and dissimilarity then you will use cosine dissimilarity formula that we did in previous example so I'm just writing here for this similarity we have formula 1 minus cosine similarity that is uh, 1 minus 0 0.94 answer will be 0 0.06 thank you for watching this video i will catch you in next video